All right, let's try to go through this in a systematic way. The goal is to list out all the abelian groups of order 216 up to isomorphism. I should say at the outset, and maybe you realize this, the way you write these groups as external direct products of cyclic groups is actually not unique. Anytime the subscripts are relatively prime to each other, you can combine them. And you might say simplify the external direct product representation. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to factor 216. Um, and it factors, if I, if I thought about things correctly ahead of time, as 2 cubed times 3 cubed, right? 2, 2 cubed times 3 cubed, 8 times 27. And that is definitely helpful in thinking about this. And in fact, it's also helpful to think about each prime individually, each prime power, 2 cubed and 3 cubed individually, and think about the possibilities for groups of order, abelian groups of order 8 and abelian groups of order 27 individually and then combine all those possibilities. That's probably the best way to go about doing this systematically. So for abelian groups of order eight, two cubed, you've got the cyclic possibility Z8. You've got the external direct product of Z2 with Z4 and the external direct product of Z2 with itself having three factors. With regard to partitions, you're thinking about partitions of the power, three. Z8, eight being two cubed, corresponds to partitioning three as just itself, three. The external direct product of Z2 is Z4, thinking about the powers of two here, two to the first and two squared, corresponds to the partition of three, that is one plus two. And this one having powers of two that are all ones corresponds to the partition of three, that is one plus one plus one. And a similar kind of thing is gonna happen when we think about Z27 or abelian groups of order 27, which I'll put over here, abelian groups of order 27. Z27, Z3 with Z9, and three factors of Z3. <clears throat> now, yes, like I said, combine all these possibilities to get all the possibilities of groups of order 200, a billion, a billion groups of order 216. There's going to be three times three, nine of them. So your, your first possibility, let's, let's start with Z8 and consider all external direct products of Z8 with these three. So you've got the external direct product of Z8 with Z27, which is the cyclic, the one cyclic possibility. Since eight and 27 are relatively prime, you can multiply them and say this is isomorphic to Z216. That out of the nine possible abelian groups of order 216 is the one that is cyclic. We can do Z8 with Z3 and Z9 like this. Do you have to combine the, uh, these in a certain way, like combine the eight and the three or the eight and the nine? No, you don't have to. You could leave the answer for this possibility like this, but it's good to realize that you also can say that's isomorphic to, for example, eight times three is 24. It's also isomorphic to, if I multiply the eight and the nine, uh, Z72 with Z3. Okay, but I can't combine these in any way because 24 and nine are not relatively prime and 72 and three are not relatively prime. Any one of these three answers is okay for this possibility. It's perhaps easiest to just focus on the one that's expanded the most if you're trying to list them out as fast as you can. Next possibility is Z8 with these. Trying to list them out as fast as you can, just leave it like that. But you also can, if you like, so that's isomorphic to Z, the external direct product of Z24 with two factors of Z3. And there's really nothing else you can do with that one. 24 and three are not relatively prime. 
Now go on to this one. The external direct product of Z2 and Z4 and do each one of these. Yes, you could write this in other ways. For example, you could multiply two and 27 and get 54. You also could multiply four and 27 and get 108. Some of these representations um, might be more helpful than others in, in figuring out the number of elements of various orders. So that's good to realize. Um, perhaps it's easier to think about the LCM, least common multiple of the orders of elements in an expression with two factors in the direct product rather than three, perhaps something you might want to experiment with to see if it's, it's more helpful one way versus the other. Going on to the next one, this one with, what did I just do? I just did Z27, so on to the next one there. I'll just try to list them out as fast as possible now. Without bothering to find other representations. Here's the sixth one. Three more. Now go to that possibility and combine those. If you ended up thinking about it in this way, that's that's good. If you were more sort of haphazard, well, that's good as as well as long as you were able to get the right final answers. Maybe you put the factors uh, that have order powers of three before the ones that were powers of two. Again, it doesn't matter. External direct products commute, so to speak, as we've seen before. All right, I guess that's all of them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Nine abelian groups of order 216 up to isomorphism. Again, there could be other abelian groups, for example, U groups of order 216 that on, on the surface are different groups because they have different elements and different operations, but they are isomorphic to one of these nine. 